true name of God of Israel, Yahweh Shah is the world. He literally called Jesus Christ for his only, only true name is Yahweh Shah. The Bahana, the mighty church, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone, shall warm to the Yakim worldwide that are sincere and serious in the will of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham of Bahadash. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 1 and 2 to you all. <clears throat> I'm the brother of the Sepulchre Kosha Banyame from the branch of the Great Millstone Barbados. Um, you see what you got on the screen there? Right? And there's a video you can play <clears> out <throat> of one rather, uh, which means God willing. Of another, of another, of another individual the same predicament, right? Uh, what you know it is through the spirit is that um, people love um, the families more than the Lord, you know what I mean? When, when the Lord told um, Abraham to sacrifice his son, you know what I mean? Um, Abraham, well, Abraham didn't hesitate. Abraham went to prepare the altar. And, and uh, he got his son and he went to sacrifice his son. But then a lamb appeared. You know what I mean? The angel stopped him and then, then a lamb appeared. You know what I mean? Because that was really a test of faith. Yahweh, Yahweh was testing Abraham's faith. That's why he called Abraham his friend. Right? Because Abraham said, I, 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 he knew that the Lord was able to raise back up his son. You know what I mean? <clears throat> uh, brothers that got families will not me, will be faced with this decision. I myself also, you know what I mean? Um, will be faced with this decision. And it's good to say, he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. He that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. He that, uh, so like him, I can't remember the rest of the scripture, you know what I mean? But uh, there's the decision we can go on me, I mean, hey, I just pray to the Lord, I don't want nothing in this world take me away from the grace, from the love, from the mercy that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has shown me, even if that includes my, my wife, my children, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, boy, he has loved them, you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but who you love more? You see, who do you love more, man? And that's where you boy don't you see? Who, who, who are you going to love more? Because if you can take the, 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 the job, if you can take the job, right, to survive, then when they crash the economy, right, and the money system is changed, then you will also take the charisma of the beast because you got a wife and children to take care of. You understand? A man, men really are just boy, you know what I mean? Joseph was a just man, Cornelius was a just man. We always thinking about your family, you know what I mean? We always thinking about wife and children. But what about your Lord, you know what I mean? What, what about the Lord, man? I mean, is it the Lord? Does it, is it He worth more? Is it He worth more? Um, 
Did he give you your wife and your children? You know what I mean? He gave you a wife for your children, right? What's up, TikTok? So, you know, this is a part two, you know, update on, uh, you know, my last video where I was talking about how I'm not gonna take the vaccine or whatever. Man, let me tell you about these people, bro. Wallin, right? They talking about they gonna make the vaccine mandatory because it possibly can be, can or may be used as a uh, biological weapon, as in like the same reference as to anthrax. Then they talking about if you elect not to take the vaccine, then you will be facing a field grade Article 15, according to, you know, under UCMJ, which means they could take two pay grades from you. You're going to lose a lot of money. Then they talking about some, oh, it doesn't stop there. They're not going to just kick you out. Like then you may be facing a court martial, which is basically you may you run the possibility of ending up in Fort Leavenworth in federal prison for not taking the vaccine. Man, all I gotta say is like, like, bro, I got a, I got a family, I got a wife, I got kids, man. Look, I, I can't take that. I cannot take. That's a big, big L. If I really go ahead and try and refuse these people, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt TikTok. It is what it is. Guess I'm gonna be a zombie in 2042 with everybody else, cause I am not taking that L, boy crazy just crazy anyway yeah so you hear it right you heard it um you heard it and uh i just want to go back to this this uh i wanted i wanted to read i wanted to read i wanted to read what um i wanted to read what was said here right Right, so my employer, this is Chris. It says, uh, my employer just put out an email stating all employees must be fully vaccinated by November 1. New hirees have to be fully vaccinated by start of work. This is such BS. I want to walk the fuck out. But can't because I have a wife and kids to take care of. I'm so angry and emotional right now. Right? So, St. Matthew 10 37, he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. Decision time, boy. Myself too, you know what I mean? You see? Decision time, boy. The scripture says, uh, They love not their lives unto death, be. They love not their lives unto death. And then there's another scripture that says, uh, let me see if I can get that out here quick. Right? Another scripture that says, um, another scripture. Bro, here, man. I ain't nobody here. Right? Right? That's good that I see it. Just bear me watch straight up. Yeah. That's good that I see is, um, in the Apocrypha. It's a rock or Ecclesiastes 33 and 19. Give not thy son and wife, thy brother and friend power over thee while thou livest. And give not thy goods to another, lest it repent thee and thou entreat for the same again. So, 
I'm sorry, verse 20. As long as thou livest and hast breath in thee, give not thyself over to any. For better it is that thy children should seek to thee than that thou should stand to their courtesy. In all thy words, keep to thyself the preeminence. Leave not a stain in thine honor. Yeah, boy. Um, so we can't give the people that you love power over you. You know what I mean? He, he sounded like Steve Harvey. This one, this, this gentleman here, and the one you just saw there, sounded like Steve Harvey, man. Steve Harvey said, um, uh, he, he, he can't he can't do it uh, he got people depending on him so he can't you know I forget he has that words man you know what I mean but yeah boy um, you can boil down to who do you love more boy you have a boy shim you have shy or your loved ones you understand or your loved ones can turn on you who's to say that his wife won't go and take the check I'm sorry. His wife won't gonna take the caravan of the beast or the job. You understand? Know Who's to say that? What about the children? The the one give the, the, the job to your children. So who's to say they can be a big argument? He, you know what I mean? You don't want your children to get the job, but your wife she want the children to get the job because they gotta go back to school and they gotta get a future. You know what I mean? I know that when the time comes, there's going to be a big argument in my household. You understand? There's going to be a very serious argument in my household. You understand? A very serious argument because she knows where it's time with this nonsense here. You know what I mean? You see? And um, yeah, boy, I, I I can't put these I can't put the things in the world over my savior, boy. You know what I mean? So you can be faced with a, with a decision. You can be faced with a decision. You know what I mean? You can be faced with a decision, boy. Right? Eliezer, Eliezer, an aged man. Let me hear with that precept, man. Eliezer, man. Eliezer had to make a decision, too. Or that I didn't even food, you know what I mean? Um, you could apply the same con, the same, um, the same situation to this time here about the face. Second Maccabees 6 and 18, Eliezer, one of the principal scribes, an aged man, and of a well favored countenance, was constrained to open his mouth and to eat swine's flesh. But he choosing rather to die gloriously than to live steam with such an abomination, he spit it forth and came of his own accord to the torment. Whoa, I mean, come on, that man was like, he ain't, he, he, he ain't was staying in his name, you know what I mean? You say? But as it behooved them to come that are resolute to stand out against such things as are not lawful for love of life to be tasted but they that had the charge of that wicked feast for the old acquaintance they had with them with the man taking him aside besought him to bring flesh of his own provision such as was lawful for him to use and make as if he did eat of the flesh taken from the sacrifice commanded of the king by the king that in so doing he might be delivered from death and for the old friendship with them for in favor so the men that had the charge more than Eliezer bring food that was lawful for him to eat and pretend it was poured in the sight of the king so that what their old friendship could be maintained and find favor so at the same time your family you want to maintain your, your love you know me or, or, or that family atmosphere, you know what I mean? That they could have favor for you. You see? But he began to consider discreetly 
and as it became his age and the excellency of his ancient years and the honor of his gray head whereon was come and his most honest education from a child or rather the holy law made and given by the most high therefore he answered accordingly and willed them straightway to send him to the grave so if 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 this gentleman here and the other one that you just saw and many others too had the education from a child which is what the word of the Lord instilled in them from a child train up a child in the way he should go and when he is old he will not depart from it you wouldn't you wouldn't depart from the ways anymore say man not for nothing in this world you understand send him to the grave man right so you would rather choose death than to live stained wait a minute what Moses said um That's in Hebrews, man. Hebrews 11. Hebrews 11 and verse 24. By fear of Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the Most High than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. So the ear the man say he can't take that L. He can't take that low. You know what I mean? So he's gonna he's gonna bow to the beast. You know what I mean? Prostrate his mind to the beast and take the job that he could, you know, keep supporting his wife and his children, you know what I mean? You see? <laughs> but suppose you take the job and you end up and you end up dying right whose riches are going to be you, the riches you have the money you have who's going to end up taking it <laughs> you know what I mean someone else is going to end up taking it someone else is going to end up living in your house you know what I'm saying screwing your wife <laughs> you know what I mean so at what point you can say nah boy you know what I mean these are my anyway. Let me end with that preset, man. Let me end with that preset, right? Second Corinthians 4 and verse 18. While well, we look not at the things which are seen, so that's what this gentleman here, the one before you, and many others doing. Romans 8 and 24 says, For hope that is seen is not hope. You see? This ain't hope, man. But if you look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal. But the things which are not seen are eternal. Yeah. The things of this life, this is this present life is not very much glory doth abide. You know what I mean? Right? So, like people, I mean, people won't hold on to this. These, these riches of Egypt, man. <laughs> the riches of Egypt, you know what I mean? The chariots and the, and the, and the, and the, 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 the cucumbers and the, and the garlic, you know what I mean? You could you should have let me stand in Egypt, let me dead Moses. You know what I mean? That's what I want, the one we mean. But there's all the sea, but the things that are not seen are eternal, which is what the kingdom of heaven, you know what I mean? So, yeah, boy, a family man's decision, you know what I mean? A family man's decision, boy, I don't want brothers, uh, like I said earlier, nothing in this world, I don't want nothing in this world. Take your hour by shim your shit away, you know what I mean? From me, you know what I mean? Nothing. That includes my, that includes my wife, which we always butt heads because she's. A, you know, you women, you women don't like to listen, huh? You know what I mean? All my children, boy. You know what I mean? I love my children. I love my children, boy. But 
hey, but you not not before, not before your hour. But I show me how we shot it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So with that, shallow one.